we'll get started with Aaron. If you have a question, just raise your hand. We'll start with Meredith, first row on your right, Aaron. Aaron, the offense really has not produced yet this series, just four for 20 with runners in scoring position. Why do you think it has been a struggle for those guys? <clears throat> yeah, just, I mean, haven't done that and, um, you know, hit a couple balls in the seats, probably in the first few, and then Doogie tonight to finish it there. Uh, but we got to find a way right now. You know, they've. I feel like Bueller and and Yamamoto did a good job of taking a lead and really attacking and and getting ahead. And um, you know, because because I felt like in both games, Yamamoto and Bueller early on, you know, we we're you know making them work a little bit. They were a little bit in and out of the zone, and then once they got that lead, they they did a good job of attacking and and kind of. Um, grabbing the count leverage so you know we got to find a way to grab one we got to find a way to hopefully try and get a lead but either way we got to just you know really focus on the next play and, and trying to get a win what questions for Aaron Barry uh, Aaron do you think that Judge is at the point here where the struggle is so complete that he's not going to be able to bust out of it at this point no I don't believe that what do you think he has to do for for it to happen? Come ready to go tomorrow. He's Aaron Judge, and uh, just continue to work and hopefully get on time and and connect on some. Up front to your left, Chris. You guys had one of the best offenses during the regular season. Have you just been surprised with how the Dodgers have neutralized you guys? A, a little bit. Again, like you know, it's story of a few games in there where, um, you know playing a little bit of behind and, and credit to them that they've been able to hold us down and control us. And then, you know, when we have had some opportunities, we haven't cashed in. So, you know, ultimately that that's what this comes about. You know, you've, you you got to take advantage, put one in the seats with a, with a runner or two on and grab play with a lead. Um, or, you know, when you do get those opportunities, they're not as frequent maybe as, as sometimes during the season, you get, you got to take advantage of it. We'll stay there with Gary. Just what did you see on the Stanton send, and were you good with the aggression there? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're, we're going to challenge Tay Oscar there a little bit, especially when he's moving to a right. Credit to him, he made a great throw. I thought G had a pretty good, um, you know, jump and move around third base. So, you know, tough when you're behind a few there, um, but a perfect throw, um, you know, is able to get him there. I'll, I'll go back and look at it some more, though. Got four rows back on your right here. Aaron, only one team has ever come back from a 3 nothing deficit in World Series history. How do you like your chances heading into game four? Um, we'll tr we're trying to get a game tomorrow. Okay? That's, that's where our focus lies. So hopefully we can, you know, go be this amazing story and shock the world. But right now it's about trying to get a lead, trying to grab a game and, and force, force another one and then, and then on from there. But we got to grab one first. Go to Tyler and then Brendan. And what did you see from Clark Schmidt? I mean, starting off with a four-pitch walk there. Yeah, yeah, just um, stuff was good, just n not the command and control. And and against that team, you know, especially, um, you know, that uh, like us, when it, if you're not in the strike zone, they're not going to go chase you. And uh, I just think he had a little bit of a hard time harnessing a little bit. Um, Again, he made some pitches to kind of, after the two-run homer, at least limit some damage. But it was a struggle, I think, just finding that next level of command for him tonight. Do two last ones. Four rows back on your right, Aaron. Uh, Aaron, with the Dodgers going with the bullpen game tomorrow, and you seeing so many arms today, what did that do to help you guys out? Uh, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully it helps us a little bit. Um, you know, again, you, you hope you pull little things, um, you know, Riz having some good at bats to get on base, set the table a little bit there. Doogie getting into one, um, you know. If nothing else, I think we extended their guys quite a bit. Like most of their bullpen guys came in, threw a lot of pitches. Um, hopefully, that little bit of familiarity, um, you know, serves us well going into tomorrow. Um, but you know, it's going to be a challenge with all their arms. But again, we we got to get after it. We'll finish up in the third row on your left, Aaron. Just with uh, Freddie Freeman on the other side, uh, he came into the series before with the do uh, when they were playing the Mets, and he could barely run. Yeah, he's legging out triples, hitting home runs. Have you kind of been surprised by what you've seen from Freeman in the series? Well, I mean, obviously, we, we all know how great of a, a player Freddie Freeman is. Um, 
you know, I think I think clearly having those few days um, following their championship series um, probably served him well and helped him, most notably probably in the batter's box. You know, he's getting off swings that, you know, you're typically used to seeing Freddie get off um, where maybe that wasn't happening in the previous rounds with the injury. So he seems to be in a better spot with that, but we got to, you know, and and when that's the case against a guy like him uh, as well as some others on there, we got to make sure we're really executing, you know. I think Clark had him 1-2 there trying to go back door, I think, with the cutter and just yanked it middle in and, um, you know, kind of right into his barrel. we got to execute better than that. All right, Aaron, thanks for your time. Appreciate yeah. it.